Hey guys, hope you're doing awesome today. Um, we just got done in class talking a little bit about send effects and how to use them. And today during class, I assigned to you um, a little project to go on to GarageBand and to create a song. Um, it needs to have five tracks, it needs to be at least one minute long, and it needs to use send effects. Um, I realize now that uh, some of you may have never used GarageBand in your life. So I put together this video just to, to give you a crash course on how to get into using GarageBand. And I'm going to uh, basically just record my screen and show you uh, a little song that I built. And uh, hopefully that will help you do the same thing, build a song that is. So here we go. All right, let's get started by launching GarageBand. And I don't have it in my dock, so I'm actually going to use Spotlight. I access that using Command Space and just typing it in. And GarageBand will launch. And I'm going to select Empty Project. And then I'm going to just hit Enter. And that will populate GarageBand. And right away, it's going to ask you to select something. So I'm going to select Drummer, and it's going to populate this. And uh, I know that I like the sound of the Big Room plugin. Um, so we're going to try it out and see what this sounds like. And you just press space bar, or um, you can hit the play button in the top left. Sounds pretty cool. There's my first track. So I like layered drums, so I'm gonna add another one, actually. And I'm gonna actually blend the digital kit with a like acoustic sounding kit. And so I'm gonna bring down the sound of the digital kit a little bit by moving the level meter, delete the other two. Um, regions, command, copy them, and then paste them, and put them together, and uh, get that cool layered sound kind of going on. If you go to the top left hand, you can hit that knob button, and it'll allow you to basically control different parameters, turning on and off the different parts of the kit, like mute buttons. Um, you hit the headphones, you can solo it out, kind of hear just the acoustic side of the kit, decide what I want to do to it here. I'm gonna add a little bit of compression because I like I like drum sound compressed. There's also a place to do equalization here. I'm going to go back and maybe add a little EQ. You can see I can add top end by clicking and dragging or taking away. I love the sound of scooped mid drums. I'm going to go around 500 hertz and just scoop the mids on it. Uh, that Q is pretty wide so I'm trying to drop it. Okay. There you go. Grab the Q in the bottom right and Skinny up that cube. Cool. So you can use the controls there. If you want to get more in depth, you can go hit the I button and select the plugins. And there's actually the channel strip there that we saw in class. And so you can get a little more in depth and grab the individual parameters on the compressor and adjust them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it sound a little more beefy. And that's an insert effect of sorts. It's a compressor. It's not an effect like we talked about today, but it is doing that compression that we're looking for. And you can do the same thing on the other track just by selecting the track. So there are some effects already uh, set up here. So I can add drive, make the drums sound distorted, I can solo them out and drop the cut, do that cool like dance effect. I can add delay. And here's how I'm going to show you. Uh, whether that delay is an insert, if you look, there is a delay plugin on that list of plugins, which means it's an insert effect. If you notice, when I adjust this, all it's doing is adjusting the mix on that delay. And so it is an insert, it's just mixing in that affected signal with the dry signal. As I crank it up, the delay gets louder. As I drop it, you lose the delay. So I like the way it sounds right there, I think. Take some of these other sections out that I don't want. Boost the kick. Delays a little much. Cool. I like the way that sounds. Now if you go to the bottom, now we have reverb underneath the effects section. I wonder if it is a send reverb or not, because there's not one in the input section. If you go to the master reverb and I move that, you can kind of hear it. I bet that's the send. You can edit the send effect by going to the bottom, clicking edit, and then selecting a preset that you would like. I'm going to do this one, I think. I'm going to crank it up so it's really high, make it kind of bright. 
then I'm actually going to change the echo while I'm here. And I know these are send effects because I'm sending the signal out to them and they're being affected. I can send multiple tracks to it if I want to. Wow. Sounds like I'm playing in a Catholic church. That's pretty intense. Let's turn the echo up. Oh, wow. That is pretty interesting sounding. Yeah, I dig it. Now let's add another track. So I'm going to go to Software Instruments and select that. I'm just going to use the Classic X Electric Piano. You can uh, do any of the ones on the left in the library there. I want to do what's called musical typing, which allows me to use my keyboard on my computer to track MIDI. And so if I search for it, I can find it in the menu, select it. And then basically I can use those keys, these keys right here, to play that software instrument. So I'm going to go up here, bring it back to the beginning. I'm going to turn on my metronome over here on the right side, and I'm going to hit record. It's going to count me in, and I'm going to play along. You can hear the sound of my keyboard as I play along. <laughs> well, that didn't totally work out as planned, but it'll work. Awesome. And if I, you see I have that knob select in the top left, so I can come down here to controls and add drive or chorusing or really anything. And I have, because I have that I selected in the bottom, or the top left hand side of this, I can add insert effects. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hmm. Fuzz wall. This sounds pretty interesting. I'm just gonna play around with things to see what happens. Not really getting any more drive. Oh, gotta click it on. There you go. That sounds pretty alright. Add a little bit of modulation. Oh, that's cool. All right, I like that. So I've added some effects now. I think we're all good. So now my songs, pretty well. Let's add some echo. Oh wow, that's insanity. All right, well. Now I'm done with my song and I want to save it. So I'm going to save as and tell it to save. I'm going to name it something cool probably. Actually, let's just go ahead and export it. I don't know where to do that at. Let's see. Export. Nope, can't bounce it. All right, export. It says I can export to this. So I'm going to go to share. I'm gonna X share the song to iTunes. I'll click that. I'm gonna name it something really awesome. I'm gonna use my street name, probably for artist, is what I'm known on, known as on the street. And mm, let's not select that actually. And we'll hit share. And it's gonna bounce all this audio out to iTunes, from what I understand. So the computer will automatically launch iTunes once we finish bouncing here. And I'll probably play my song. Yep, there you go. Let me pause here. I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna tell it to show me in Finder, which is just gonna show me the actual wave file, wherever it is. From there, I can right click on it. And you can mail it to me, but it would be better to upload it to Canvas. So. The best thing to do is going to be to just grab the file, drop it somewhere where you know where it's at. I'm going to do it to my desktop. And from there, I can cancel out of all of this. And it's on my desktop, so I can listen to it. There's my song. 
Awesome, you're pretty much done. So from there, you're gonna to wanna to get on Canvas and find the assignment that I gave you, and you're just gonna upload that WAV file. If you can, it would also be awesome if you could um, include the project file so that I could get on and see like, okay, you really did use a send effect or not, because really I'm not gonna be able to tell on the WAV file, so I'm kind of trusting you, but I might check you, so please upload that as well, that'd be great. Um, and then I'll pick some cool ones, and we'll listen to them in class uh, the next time we meet. Uh, so I hope you had fun, hope you learned something, and I'll see you a little bit later.